Hi everyone, welcome back to Inside the Hem, where we discuss all things sewing with style and budget in mind. I'm Lindsay, this is Biscuit. <laughs> Welcome. Speaking of budget, I know a lot of us are going to be shopping at Joanne in the coming weeks. Whether you are making one of the holiday outfits that I'm featuring in my 30 Days of Festive Fashion Sewing series, or you're making gifts, or you're DIYing some holiday decor, or anything else you'll need to make for the holidays. Joanne can be an affordable place to shop with their constant sales and never ending coupons, but many people get frustrated when they get to the register and none of the coupons seem to work, like none of them go through. So today I'm gonna to be sharing my best tips for saving money at Joanne. For those of you asking about the stockings I have had in the background of my videos this month, I did make them myself and you can learn how to make them as well with a course called Classic Quilted Stockings that's available on Craftsy, which is the sponsor of today's video. Craftsy is your online resource for all things creative. In addition to improving your sewing skills with fitting and couture classes, you can also learn about photography, baking, decorating, and so much more. I loved the iPhoneography class where I learned how to take better photos and videos with my phone and some editing apps that I had never heard of before. You might have even noticed some of that those tips being put into these videos I've been doing this month. I'm also obsessed with watching the live baking tutorials. <laughs> it's like being on a set of Food Network show. I will for sure be looking out for more pie lives <laughs> as the holidays get closer. They are so much fun to watch. The first 1,000 of you to click the link in the description box will get a full year of a premium membership to Craftsy for only $1.49. Valid for new members only, but it also would happen to be a really great gift idea for someone in your life who is very curious and likes learning new things. This membership will be perfect for them. So check the description box for the link. Whether you are a pro at couponing or just getting started, there are a ton of ways to stretch your dollar here. So let's get into the details on Joanne's coupons, special discounts, and some pro tips for saving big. First up, let's talk sales periods. Every three weeks, or about 20 days to be exact, Joanne releases a new set of sales. These are the things that are covered in the mailer, if you're signed up for that, um, and also referred to as the weekly ad on their website and on their app. Every discounted item listed here is considered a sale item. So when a coupon is for a total purchase, or include sale items like these, you can apply that discount to the sale price. Yay! But if the item is listed on the page of the flyer that has like a specific date range on it, it's usually like one page, maybe two pages, those are considered doorbusters. These are limited time deals on specific items and they seem like a really good deal, but here's the catch. These items are excluded from most, if not all coupons, and the discount listed is the best deal that you can get. You can't get any more percentages off. So don't be fooled when a fabric or any item that you want shows up as a doorbuster for 20, 30, or even 40% off because that's actually not the most that you can save. Instead, there's two options. One, wait for the item to go on sale outside of the doorbuster, then stack a coupon on top of that. The next best scenario is waiting for the fabric to go regular price and then using 50% off coupon at that time. Either of those options are actually better than the doorbuster prices usually because the discounts end up being higher. Learning to shop Joanne this way is a real pro move and it will have you rethinking your shopping there every time you go. Joanne is known for their regular percent off coupons like 20%, 50%, or even 60% off one item. You can find multiple versions of these via their website. There's another one in their app. There's another one in text messages and in the mailer if you're on their mailing list. The best part is, is that you can use more than one of these coupons per purchase. So make sure you're grabbing all of them and turning them all in at the register to maximize savings. 
But another catch, <laughs> each coupon can only apply to one item though. So if you're going to be using a 50% off of a regular priced item coupon, for example, like you're buying ribbon or something, um, you need to have more than one regular priced item, more than one ribbon in your purchase to apply more than one percent off coupon. So if you have four percent off coupons and none of them apply to sale items, be sure to toss in four regular priced ticket ticketed items in the cart so that you can use all four of those coupons that you have. Does that make sense? They also do something called total purchase discounts where you get a discount on your entire order, which is perfect for big hauls. These are more rare and only happen once a quarter, maybe, from what I've seen. They are usually 20% off, but I've seen them as high as 25% off, like back in the day. These coupons apply to literally everything you put in your cart, except doorbusters. See, doorbusters are really not that great of a deal, you guys. They, they use them to get you into the store and then hope that you buy other things. It's kind of like a, a loss leader, it's called. But pay attention to the doorbuster discounts and only buy those items when you know that they are at their cheapest. There's one other thing about coupons, whether it's percent off or total purchase, there are exclusions. So in addition to doorbusters, some brand name items are also excluded from coupons, no matter if it's a total purchase one or not. These usually include the brand names that you all know, like Cricut, Silhouette, Badgley Mishka, Lego, Liberty Fabrics, all of those kinds of things. The exclusions can also include, include an entire product category, like thread sets sewing patterns, irons, dress forms, sewing machines, sewing tables, things like that. And they can also include clearance items, buy one get one offers, happy value items, and remnants. Purchase with purchase and gift with purchase items, all gift cards and classes are also usually considered exclusions. So just like they say nothing in life is free, we can also say no coupon, no even a total purchase coupon is really the entire purchase. So next let's talk about the buy more, save more coupon. These are technically total purchase coupons. So if you're using a 20% off your total purchase coupon, you cannot also use this one. If you do not have another total purchase coupon, you can use this one. They take the percentages off the dollar amounts pre-tax. So pre-tax, you have to be $85, $100, $150, and then you can use this and it's utilized just like a total purchase coupon. This brings me to the ever-present 20% off your total pickup curbside order that we've seen since the pandemic at this point. Let's assume you've got your cart full of things that aren't excluded, right? You've double-checked. Great. You are applying 20% off to all of those things. You place your order online, and even though the website says all the items are in stock and your order goes through, you get an email a few hours later saying that they've canceled your order because the items were out of stock. Like, what the heck? A few things could be happening here. One, the inventory could be off. It's retail, it happens, but it really shouldn't happen as often as it seemingly does. It also shouldn't be like that wrong all the time. Like all the items are out of stock. That seems unlikely. The second thing is probably more likely the poor sto uh, store employees at Joann's who are getting paid like pennies an hour, poor things, aren't properly trained. Uh, they're too busy to handle all the online orders because they're understaffed or they just simply cannot find the items you ordered because they're not familiar with that section of the store. So in the end, you wasted all your time shopping online and you end up having to go into the store anyways to find your own items and you still don't get the 20% off discount. If it were me and I had any say in this, like I'm on the Joanne board or something, I would say they should still honor the 20% discount if you're able to find the items in the store yourself and you can prove that you placed an order online with the intent of getting the 20% off discount, they should still honor that. Along with a big fat, like we are so sorry, we cannot seem to get this together. Okay, so now let's talk about special discounts. These apply to people like nurses, 
first responders, healthcare workers, Girl Scout leaders, teachers, military, and 4-H. You guys all have access to a 15% off your total purchase coupon at Joanne. It is considered a coupon in the system, so you can't stack it with another total purchase coupon. Teachers, military, Girl Scouts, and healthcare workers can get verified through Joanne's program online. Everyone else just needs to show a valid ID at checkout and you'll get your 15% off. Exclusions still do apply though. If you shop at Joann's a lot, you will want to sign up for their rewards program called Joann Smiles Rewards. It is free. Um, they claim that members get exclusive coupons and birthday rewards, uh, early access to sales and member only events, uh, but I've never seen any of those. <laughs> what they do give you is you rack up a whole bunch of purchases and then you end up getting a $5 off of like 10, five off 10 coupon. Even in my peak Joanne shopping era though, I barely got any of those coupons to use through that program. I maybe got two that I can remember using. You have to really, really shop there a bunch. For those of you that need to shop in bulk, like small business owners, teachers, serious DIYers, Joanne has a, a VIP membership program called Joanne Plus. You can save 15% off of entire bolts of fabric. You can get tiered discounts on bulk items. And then there's also a generic $10 off 75 plus free shipping coupon. Another pro tip is to time your shopping trips to make the most of the sales. For example, us sewists want to shop pattern sales. Like we'll go to Joanne just for the pattern sales. But while we're there, we might also be buying fabric for the pattern that we're buying. So to make the most of that, you want to check the dates of the pattern sales and cross reference them with the sales items, not door busters, and then cross reference that again with percent off and total purchase coupons. This way you save on the pattern, which is excluded from coupons, but then you also save on the fabric and all the notions you need by stacking your percent off coupons or using a total purchase coupon. Finally, let's chat about price matching. Joanne does match competitor prices, but with everything else, like you figured during this video, there are stipulations. First, the two items must be identical. That means brand name, size, weight, color, quantity, and model number must all be the exact same. And second, your item must be online or in store at a competitor's local location. If you find an offer on a deal website, it will be validated at the retailer's primary website and must meet all other criteria. Third, and most confusingly, the actual purchase price of the merchandise must be compared to the Joanne price. And instant rebates are accepted as part of the purchase price. Even I don't know what that terminology means, but they're making it complicated to say the least. To get the price matched, you just need to bring the entire print ad or digital version of the ad on your mobile device as proof of price. If you're shopping online, you'll need to email them with the item number and the link to the competitor website with the lower price. I have no idea how long it takes for them to get back to you on that. It seems like a very inefficient system to say the least. It gets better though, because if you buy something and then later realize that there was a competitor deal that was better, you can still get your item price matched but this time you'll need to text message customer service and give them your joanne.com order number, a proof of the lower price on the competitor's website. And with this, I'm not sure if you get a credit back to your card that you used or if you get a store credit. And again, it's very unclear how long it takes for you to get your money back, how people respond back to you. Like, are you just text messaging with them? I have no idea. There you have it though. I know it's a lot, but with these tips and tricks, you're set to save big on your next Joann's run. Don't forget to download the app, sign up for those rewards programs, and keep an eye on those seasonal sales. Let me know in the comments section if you have any questions about what I covered today or if you have any other money-saving hacks for Joanne. Other than that, that's going to do it for me today, and I will see you all very soon. Bye! I lost Biscuit.